Hello friends, welcome to Insights Again Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the topic name is Mission Divyastra. Okay. Before we discuss further regarding this topic, first let us try to look at the video components. In this video, we are going to mainly cover why this is in news. That means the context. We will try to understand the context. Actually, the context is Prime Minister. Actually, Prime Minister. So he praised DRDO efforts in their successful test firing of the this Agni 5 missile and the advanced technology. We are going to discuss about that advanced technology and what how this can be is going how this is going to be helpful to India and how this can keep India into the you know like uh, in the league of advanced countries. We are going to discuss the technology is about the MIRV technology. Next we will discuss about this mission Divyastra and obviously for better understanding of this topic you need to know the basic difference between the ballistic missile and cruise missile okay the name itself is saying cruise it will cruise along the you know like earth atmosphere and it can be fire and forget mechanism as well it work on the fire and forget mechanism then we have to know that integrated guided missile development program under this program we developed various missiles such as prithvi akash nag those kind of missiles in fact, initially Agni missiles also developed on, on this platform, but later for more focused effort on the Agni missile, we separated the Agni missile development program from this platform. Then we will discuss about Agni 1 to Agni 6 and how they differentiated from one to another and what kind of major upgradation we have seen from Agni 1 to Agni 6. And finally, we will discuss about the significance of Agni missiles. So this is the learning. These are the learning objectives of this particular video. Now let us see the context. Prime Minister Narendra Modi he hails first flight test of first flight test of made in India Agni 5 missile with the technology of MIRV technology. So this is the indigenously developed technology MIRV technology. So in this context, our Prime Minister congratulated DRDO, DRDO scientist for Mission Divyastra. So Mission Divyastra is all about the flight testing of indigenously developed indigenously developed Agni 5 missile with the technology of multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MIRV technology. First let me explain what is this MIRV technology that is multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle. So the name itself is saying multiple targets that means you can aim towards multiple targets. Then what about this re-entry vehicle that means that means you know like when we launch the missile this ballistic missile normally it goes out of the earth atmosphere and then it will come back into the earth atmosphere ballistic missile s ballistic missile it will go out of the earth atmosphere when it is coming back that means a re-enter when it is re-entering this ballistic missile it deploys it deploys multiple warheads multiple warheads like this okay in this photo you can see here the ballistic missile is one after when it is relaunching into the earth atmosphere it is deploying multiple warheads okay multiple warheads because of this with a single missile we can aim towards multiple targets so that we can avoid the launching of multiple missile so it is going to be the cost effective and it is going to be the more effectively in terms of defense so one missile multiple warheads and multiple targets so this is nothing but MIRV technology so very few countries are having this kind of MIRV technology which countries mainly countries which are enjoying the permanent membership in the UN Security Council such as USA, UK, France, China and Russia. These are the selective countries which are enjoying the this technology. You know actually India enhanced its Agni, cap, Agni missile capabilities after joining in the you know like missile technology control regime missile technology mtcr missile technology control regime by joining in this group india enhanced its agni 5 capabilities okay now in which year india joined in this group comment your answer in which year india joined in this group okay by the way now let's see so now try to understand some basic differences between the ballistic missile and cruise missile basic differences are ballistic missile goes out of the earth atmosphere and it will come back into the earth atmosphere Whereas the cruise missile, it always travel within the earth atmosphere. Because of this ballistic missile, they have to carry separate oxygen component because 
when it is out of the earth atmosphere there is a lack of oxygen that can be supplemented by the oxygen cylinder oxygen special oxygen facilities but the cruise missile they don't require because they always travel through the earth atmosphere next target range ballistic missiles they can hit very long range even they can hit across the continent they are intercontinental ballistic missile whereas a cruise missile they can deploy for very short distance next whereas a ballistic missile they follow the you know like hyperbolic trajectory whereas that whereas you know like a cruise missile no such kind of fixed trajectory is there and the advantage of the cruise missile is once we fix the target regarding the cruise missile even though the target is moving the missile also it adjusted its path that means this works on the fire and forget mechanism once we fire this missile we can forget that means it will definitely hit the target so that is the advantage of this cruise missile but the other side the flip side is they can deploy only for the short range targets so these are the basic differences between the ballistic missile and cruise missile now one question to you this brahmos missile brahmos missile is which category of missile it is a ballistic missile or cruise missile post your answer now so this particular you know like uh, this uh, particular mission you know this is being developed by which agency the agency drdo drdo is actively deploying this mission divyastra now india actually especially with respect to the development of missiles we took up a program that is known as integrated guided missile development program on this program we developed various missiles such as prithvi trishul akash nag agni later this agni missile development we separated from this platform now let's see prithvi and trishul prithvi earth okay that means this is a short range this is a short range missile and it will be deployed it targets surface to surface missile category is trishul it is also the short range and the category is surface to air you have to be very very clear about their types also akash akash is like surface to air but the difference between the trishul and akash is trishul is a short range whereas akash is the medium range whereas the nag nag is the anti tank missile anti tank missile that means you know like if any missiles are targeting towards our war tanks those missiles can be can be destroyed by this nag missile so these are various missiles okay which are deploying which are developing on the you know like integrated guided missile development program actually the brain behind this program there are so many scientists worked on that okay women scientists like tessie thomas and the other scientist very honor our former honorable president you know like apj abdul kalam and so nambi narayan so many scientists they contributed to the deploy, development of this missiles and missile technology okay agni series agni series and this started agni series actually the development of agni series started in 1980s as a part of the integrated guided missile development program and this was led by former president apj abdul kalam if you look at the agni agni missiles most of this i mean up to now most of this agni missiles they run on the solid propelled ballistic missiles they run on the solid fuel and they can be fired even from the road as well as the rail mobility that means when a particular vehicle is moving on a road from that moving vehicle also this missile can be deployed even when a train is moving from the moving rail also this can be deployed so the advantage is when the counter missile is attacking this already that launching platform is moving means we can easily escape the enemy attack that is the advantage okay so this includes two stages this includes two boosters this agni missiles solid fuel first phase and the modified prithvi one body for the missiles upper stage the first phase one it is a modified india's slv3 launch vehicle in slv3 launch vehicle we used the solid fueled stage that stage we are we are we are using in the agni missile in 1989 india tested the agni demonstrator for the first time that is in 1989 next agni one missile agni one missile development started in 1999 and the first time it was tested in 2003 it is a nuclear capable and it can be launched even from the moving vehicle on a road road mobile missile and you know it uses solid stage as well as the solid fuel missile and it can travel up to 
it can travel up to 1200 kilometers with the lighter payload normally the range is 700 kilometer to 1200 kilometers next agni 2 agni 2 developed by advanced system laboratory along with the drdo laboratory and integrated by barth dynamic limited it is surface to surface medium range now the range is increased medium range the range is 2000 kilometer and with the reduced payload that means with the lighter payload it can go up to 3000 kilometers as well it is also two stage ballistic missile which use solid fuel mainly payload it can carry up to 1000 kg agni 3 flight tested in 2007 it also uses two stage solid propellant missile and it is the intercontinental ballistic missile that means it can it can target the places across the continent as well it is surface to surface ballistic missile and the target range is 3500 kilometers with the payload of 1500 kilo 1500 kg anyhow i am including this pdf in the description so you can download and you can go through the notes agni 4 missile it is intermediate range ballistic missile range is up to 4000 kilometer same rest of the parameters are same only the range is getting increased agni 5 it is tested in 2012 from wheeler islands it is also the intercontinental ballistic missile and it is a nuclear capable missile as well and very very important it is a three stage solid fueled engine agni 5 onwards agni 1 2 3 4 all these four agni missiles they are only the two stage solid fuel missiles and it can target up to 5000 to 5500 kilometers three stage solid rocket powered missile solid rocket powered missile next with this missile even we can target cities in china and it is a fire and forget missile that cannot be stopped without an interceptor missile if any interceptor missile is intercepted its path okay then only it stops otherwise it can work on the fire and forget missile normally this fire and forget missile technology normally it can be equipped with this cruise missiles but keeping this technology into the ballistic missile is a really technological advancement achieved by indian scientists then agni prime missile this is the lighter version of the agni 5 and it is a new generation nuclear capable medium range medium range it target is about 1000 to 2000 the range is decreased but it can it can carry nuclear warheads that is the thing agni prime next agni 6 now it is under the development and the range can be increased from 6000 to 10000 i am once again reiterating that so by joining into the missile technology control regime mtcr india is a greatly advantage india getting great advantage in terms of increasing its targets of agni missiles next significance of agni missiles obviously it can raise india's nuclear deterrence that means when any other country is thinking of attacking india obviously it can act as a deterrence it can boost our india's defense and by this india joined in the elite club of very few countries which are having these kind of technologies and so india's nuclear retaliation to first strike i mean if any country strikes india we can immediately strike with nuclear warheads yesterday's video question with reference to indian citizenship consider the following statement regarding this are individuals ordinarily resident in india at a given time are the citizens of india not exactly they have to be they have to fulfill other requirements as well so that means it is a incorrect statement dual citizenship is prohibited under indian constitution prohibited okay it's a correct statement they are they are asking us to pick incorrect statement both statements are the correct one so answer is d neither one nor two next today's video question it is with reference to agni 4 missile which of the following statements are correct it is a surface to surface missile it is fueled by liquid propellant only be careful it can deliver a one ton nuclear warhead about 7500 kilometers away pick the right statement right one only yeah right one main question explain integrated guided missile development program of india and what is the contribution of abj abdul kalam to the missiles of india so this is today's main question as we reach to the end of this video in this video particularly we discussed about mission divyastra as a part of this we discussed about the development of agni 5 missile with the technology of with the technology of mirv here i explained mirv technology and through this technology we can aim for the multiple targets then we discussed about the this you know like missile development program integrated guided missile development program 
then we exclusively discussed about agni 1 to agni 6 so this is the detailed analysis regarding the mission divyastra i hope this video is useful to you thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind